Hi there, uh, me and Colin Danes here. Uh, he's a guy that uh, has been to the Olympics in wrestling. Uh, we have so many similarities. We were actually talking about it earlier. It really trips me out. We drive uh, the same car. We both grew up in Ontario. We both wrestled. We were both around the same age. We both moved to Vancouver. We both uh, became Canadian champions. Um, of course, he went to the Olympics. I got in a car accident before the Olympic trials. Um, and then we both um, got into MMA. So there's more similar similarities, but th those are a few. But the similarities that I like, I, uh, I believe we both have, is we're very honorable and we're very loyal people and we're, we're honest. And that's the kind of people I try and surround myself with. And Colin is a sweetheart of a human being, in my opinion. Uh, I've seen his uh, interviews with uh, the Hall of Fame, and uh, I've just grown to appreciate who Colin Danes is as a person more than anything. I mean, there's a lot of athletes out there, and at the end of the day, the UFC, uh, what I'm going for is a small thing in the picture, in the scheme of things in life. Uh, being a great person, I think, is more important. So let me introduce you to Colin Danes. How do you know Dave? Uh, well, uh, as Dave was saying, we have a lot in common, so we're both uh, wrestlers. But when I came out, uh, came out to BC and got involved in MMA, because I'm a wrestler, uh, all people would talk about was Dave, because he was the wrestler that was in the MMA scene in Vancouver before me. So everybody was asking me, oh, who's Dave? And as it turns out, we ended up kind of coming through at the same time of wrestling, wrestling the same guys in the national championship, you know, final matches. And uh, just more, as we talk, we have more and more things in common. So uh, we're two wrestlers that ventured into the world of MMA, and here we are. Do you think Dave has what it takes to make it to the UFC? Uh, definitely. Dave's an extremely hard worker, uh, a talented guy, although he, I'm sure, would uh, attribute most of his success to being a hard worker. Uh, there is some natural uh, talents and gifts that he has that has helped him uh, get to a certain level in sport. Uh, so, he, you know, he's got the skills, and I don't think that at any point in his life he's given himself an honest chance uh, to pursue those goals. He kind of uh, was serious about wrestling uh, and, and got to a certain level, won the national championships. But when it came to MMA, I think that was a little bit after, much like myself, uh, sort of an afterthought and uh, didn't put all the pieces of the puzzle together to make that happen and uh, kind of give himself the right opportunities to, to really thrive in the sport. So now he's at a, a spot in his life that uh, some things have happened and that enable him to free up some time and he can put the, all the focus into doing that. So it uh, be interesting to see what happens. At 44 years old, is it possible to compete against younger, hungrier, world-class athletes? You know, I don't think that age is the biggest factor. It does come into play a little bit, but more than that, I think you've got, uh, you know, lifestyle, uh, your attitude, injuries. I think that's where it's at. I don't think you can really put a number on things. Uh, depends how you train. If you're a rough and tumble type and you're taking a lot of injuries, a lot of hits to the head, it's, you're going to have a shorter career. Uh, but sometimes the older guys it can keep plugging away. Sometimes in sports, uh, the longevity of an athlete's career is more based on his pain tolerance. Who can, who can uh, have enough high enough pain tolerance to stick around and stick it out? Uh, so you can't really put a number on it. Sometimes the experience of an older guy goes a long way. So as long as you're eating right, training right, and putting in the same kind of work as a younger guy, I think maybe the, I give the edge to the older guys, really. Dana, Lorenzo, uh, Joe Silva, my body hasn't taken a lot of damage. I've been training smart, training hard. Like I said, um, I'm ready to go. Uh, at this stage of the game, uh, it's a two to three year goal uh, before I hang up the gloves, but I will be in the UFC. Mark my words. I have to get a couple W's locally here just to show you what I'm made out of, and uh, we'll see you on the other side of the cage. Uh, I look forward to meeting you. How would you describe Dave in two words? In two words, uh, I'd have to say extremely driven. Uh, you know, since I'm meeting Dave in all realms of his life, uh, whatever doesn't matter whatever he's doing, he's always pushing himself forward, uh, trying to expand, looking for new growth. Uh, you know, uh, is 
bettering his relationships that he has. I know for him it's not all about sport, but just bettering himself as a person. And uh, I've really grown to like Dave. You know, the more I know about him, the more I learn about him, the more I like him. And uh, he's just an extremely driven guy with a good heart. And I'd like to see him do good things.